Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Waters Vern, Project Director for the Diagram Center. The Diagram Center was awarded to Benetech in 2010 as the digital image and graphic resource for accessible materials. Our mission was to make STEM content accessible for all students. In 2015, they extended the Diagram Center through 2020 with a no-cost extension in 2021 and wanted to include specifically those with disabilities not traditionally associated with print disabilities. Since I wasn't at Diagram in 2010, I thought it would be great to have Jim Fruchterman, the founder of Benetech, tell you a little bit what life was like in the educational realm before the Diagram Center. I just wanted to share with you some of the stories from the early days of Diagram. First of all, uh, after we received Department of Education funding for Bookshare, I was invited to join an advisory group to help uh, OSAP, the Office of Special Education Programs, figure out what were important issues coming up in the field of accessibility. And I, in a room full of mainly academics, said, we really need to develop more technology around making the teaching of math and science more accessible. I felt like we were pretty much on the road to making textbooks, at least the text and textbooks accessible. And this was really gonna be the next, next frontier. And lo and behold, about a year later, OSEP issued a request for proposals that talked about this important need. And then we went to work. We contacted all of our basically collaborators and competitors in the field and said, hey, look, if we get together and do this jointly and we share the money and we share the decision-making power and all of the content and technology that we generate will be licensed open source, so we'll all benefit, doesn't that make sense to you? And since the alternative was they could be outside looking in, um, we were able to get engagement from pretty much all of the major organizations in the field to join us in a proposal, which was predictably irresistible to OSAP. And that's how the first Diagram Center got awarded. So thanks to OSAP and giving us this opportunity, and especially Glinda Hill, the program officer, we worked with NCAM, WGBH, and DAISY to develop what we now know as the Diagram Center. Diagram Center pillars are around three different ideas, community, standards, and product. In the community, we, we held a number of face-to-face -face opportunities where people from the community came in together for three to four days to really think through the problems in education and how we could stop, solve those STEM issues. But we didn't just wanna talk about things. We created a number of working groups, including the standards working group, content working group, 3D printing, developers, drag and drop, data visualization, math, to make standards and things so that we could also spread this word beyond our borders. We also brought the community together for code sprints where we looked at problems, created some technology around it to see if we could solve those problems and participated in a number of joint presentations globally, including one where we had a surprise guest from Stevie Wonder who came to learn about our 3D printing initiative. It was a, definitely a community where as you can see on the screen, we worked with National Federation of the Blind, W3C, uh, American Printing House, CAS, ETS, Pearson, and many, many more. Our second pillar are our standards. We worked on standards around personalization of content, EPUB, accessibility of conformance and discovery, fixed layout accessibility, MathML accessibility. And then we launched GCA, Benetech's Global Certified Accessible Program where we not only helped publishers make accessible products, but we taught them how to do it themselves so they could make their products available to all persons who required the need of accessible materials. And then our third pillar were our products. We had the diagrammer content module, the speech rule engine, accessible image sample books, Poet, a tool that taught people how to create alt text, the diagram report where experts from the field looked at tech of the future and how it would impact kids with disabilities. MathML Cloud, which was the basis for Math Detective, which is currently being built into Bookshare books to help identify math equations in a book and put it in so it's accessible in the output. Then MathShare, which is an interactive math tool to help kids with disabilities interact with the math and explain their math in a way that worked for them. And ImageShare, a repository registry of accessible objects to help people access educational materials in more creative and multimodal ways. But the Diagram Center did much more and impacted groups outside of our borders. One of the most memorable things that came out of the Diagram Center was Betsy Bowman's comment, if a book can be born digital, it should be born accessible. 
This idea of born accessible has transcended beyond the diagram borders. We now hear it at Verizon Media and around the world where people think through, hey, shouldn't we do it right the first time? We hope you enjoy the Diagram Center presentation and look forward to meeting you in the future. Thanks. It takes a community. <laughs>